job in the Middle East, simply by trying or by magic, through others, or by fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Boy Macedo is the best. Oh. So, I just thought I'd give you a roundup of uh, all the events that are taking place. A few updates here and there. As you know, COVID, uh, oh sorry, what COVID? There's no COVID. <laughs> COVID? What COVID? No COVID, man. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go to the next. Next update, this, um, yeah, Russia, Putin, uh, Ukraine, uh, you know, it, number one, I think the first question that has to be asked is, what is the point, purpose or function of the United Nations? What is it? Just having a series of meetings, say, my cameo appearance. Doggy, all of you have been commenting. <laughs> uh, what is the point of the UN? You know, just having series of meetings, votes, discussions, and a uh, few minutes of talk. Oh, we need uh, this, we need to make peace, we need stop your sign, you know, stop your sanctions, and blah blah blah. They keep talking, 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 talking. I mean, what is the UN doing? Can the UN do anything? Okay, we will send peacekeeping forces to do what? To just stand there and not attack anyone and protect the food and and then rape the women. Hmm. I don't understand the purpose of UN. I think it should be dis, you know, just disbanded. And then you have what? Uh, US and Russia, they can veto. Every time uh, there's a new president, they get a new spokesperson. Well, before it was Nikki and now it is that other lady. And she's like a grandma. The United Nations believes in peacekeeping forces. And she'll just repeat and read out from the script. It's a bloody fake. <laughs> then everyone's condemning Russia and Russia. <laughs> Sounds like uh, some alien language. Anyway, they can't touch Russia because Russia has voting rights and uh, it can veto. See, the thing is, if they remove Russia from the UN, finished, you don't have uh, any room for negotiations. And then out of embarrassment, you'll have to call them back. So, there's no point in removing them in the first place. Okay. And uh, China is also watching what is happening. Okay, so that is one. The next one is... Uh, UAE is funny. First, UAE supported Russia. Then all of a sudden, UAE said, no, no, we cast our vote, please stop the war. I was wondering why suddenly they stopped, uh, changed their tracks and now they are asking Russia for peace, supporting US. Then the update came that UAE, UAE is on the, uh, what? Money laundering watch list, grey watch list, all of a sudden, all of a sudden. So then suddenly UAE changed its mind and now they are dropping the, you know, being on the grey list of money laundering. <laughs> it's so funny, man. It's like, and then uh, UAE before, no, Ukrainians cannot come with the visa. We are blocked. And now Ukrainians don't need a visa, just come. Who do you think is going to come? Worthwhile people or uh, 500 only? One shot. 500. Hmm. Uh, hmm. And the whole Western media, everybody on the Western media, Putin is evil and Putin is bad and so many poor Ukrainians are killed and bad Russians and evil Russians. And, you know, in fact, uh, look at the way the news is manipulated. There was a bomb that exploded at a nuclear facility. Okay, that was the narrative. But if you read it closely, it the bomb did not go off near the nuclear facility. 
it went to the building near it just read the news it did not uh, go near the nuclear facility maybe a couple of blocks away at some worn out building and that is one the second thing is we don't know if the ukrainians themselves put couple of explosives and said oh this is russia i mean you could do that right like uh, for example 911 the heat was so intense that the towers melted and collapsed but the passports were fireproof explosive proof melt proof higher than the temperature of molten metal but they still found the passport must be some new material here that was one hmm. then uh, this guy ukrainian president comedian turned politician what a resume <laughs> the only thing he is doing is giving speeches standing getting an applause uh in the un he gave a speech everyone applaud standing or oh, ovation hey, hey, hey. same thing they do with the state of union address no biden says one word we have achieved success stand clap sit down we increased we decreased unemployment stand again sit down uh we have we are going to stop the russians again stand nancy pelosi hey pelosi's hey oh oh i i i will lick your ass also i'll suck your balls also keep me in the position of power okay so and kamala harris who what is the <laughs> what is her job man <laughs> What is what is the job of Kamal Harris? Our president, Mr. Biden. He's an amazing leader. Oh wow! That's it. She'll say, "And uh, we will be united together." And blah blah blah. Something. Biden is a great leader. <laughs> Smile. Photo. It looks like she is Biden's secretary. <laughs> I don't understand what. Like when Biden was Obama's bitch, he was not doing anything. Anyway, now also he's not doing anything other than giving. Old man is walking like he's struggling to walk, and he sits at a conference meeting. Is <laughs> and during the speeches, what uh, uh, Russia will not win the hearts of. the iranian people and everyone hey shh that's not iranian people you numb nut it is ukraine okay so that's and uh, that uh, what ah i'm telling you about the ukrainian president i don't even know his name some whatever his name is zelensky yeah the only thing is doing is telling everyone listen can you put sanctions on russia okay uh, uh uk can you put a no fly zone USA can you ban the products hey uh, Europe can you do this everyone has to do whatever he is asking hey can you do this can you put no fly zone in russia can you attack russia can you provide troops against russia there's nothing he is doing other than requesting that's a, <laughs> that's the only thing he is doing requesting and asking everyone else to do for now everyone is uh, accommodating his request because they are in the public line boris oh we need to um um uh, uh, have coffee because i i i just woke up and uh, and uh, we together with our allies uh, uh the coffee <laughs> boris his hair is fine it looks like he got a electric shock you know, he reminds me of that sesame street uh, um ernie's brother What's his name yeah? Hey, uh, I I remember Ernie's name, the other guy, you know, like his hair is like this. And there's another guy with M- Muppet show, he big eyes and his hair is he never combs his hair I think. He just wakes up in the m- huh? I wonder how does he comb his hair like he just puts it like this and Boris Oh yes, um uh, uh, we need to uh strengthen our forces and uh yes, um uh, have a covid get together 
where we booze and drink. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, what a joke, man. Saudi, obviously, MBZ. Eh, he'll say stuff here and there. He's just interested in his economy. UAE just wants more tourists. Doesn't care a fuck. And they want to close down the Expo 2020 after hemorrhaging cash. Left, right and center. Hey, 5 million visitors. Hey, 10 million today. Hey, 20 million. Hey, 100 million. That's why I'm boring. So nobody's interested. Anyway, for free entertainment and free loaders, people will go there. Hmm. Pakistan's pavilion got around 5 million visitors or... I don't know. What, what does that do? Maybe it helps the Pakistan's economy. 5 million if they take a ticket pricing or 10 dirhams. So they got 10 million dirhams donation. I don't know. Pakistan's brave leader, Imran Khan, went for an Instagram photo with Putin. Israel said fuck you to <laughs> our uh, Ukraine. Didn't bother. The best part, you know, the best part of the whole thing is uh, uh, they are speeding up the process for uh, what is that? Ukraine to enter the EU. Turkey has been begging and dying, but nothing has been happening because it's a long, lengthy process. But for Ukraine, they made it very easy. Just apply. And then the best part is the poor Ukrainians, the brave Ukrainians who are fighting against Russians. I've never heard the brave Palestinians fighting against the Israelites. Never heard brave Palestinians. I've never heard brave uh, Syrians against UAE or Saudi. Never heard brave. No, they are terrorists or uh, Palestinian extremists. But brave Ukrainians. Yeah. When Israel uh, tries to attack, Israel is trying to reclaim its or bring peace. But Russia is evil. UAE is trying to bring law and order. Saudi is bringing law and order against the Houthi rebels, but evil Russian against the Ukrainian freedom fighters. Freedom fighters versus rebels. See the word selection. And then uh, in football, they are having free Ukraine. But in football, if you are free Palestine, you are suspended or fined. Hmm. Ah, best part is uh, this uh, software companies, hardware companies, Microsoft is suspending all the sales and the thing. Yeah, as if they can't uh, pirate your software. <laughs> Idiots. They'll just increase the piracy there. You can get it. <laughs> Stupid. And then uh, what? Uh, this is shame, shameful. This uh, company Coursera. Cours, Coursera? Coursera? Which offers courses for learning. Just imagine. For learning and they are given a statement we don't believe in racism and we don't believe in bias and we don't believe in politics but no no and that is exactly why we'll stop the russians from having access to our course material to study you need to bring in politics like for example this olympics uh, paraplegic uh, contestants these poor chaps who are as it is, they are facing handicap. They are facing enough challenges and you have banned them. What did they do? Tell me, what did these people do? These lay people, this, this paraplegic, uh, this para-Olympians, whatever, they are handicapped. And why don't you let them compete? No, we have banned them from Russia. The athletes have done nothing. They are sports people. Why are you punishing them? The artists, they are just for their livelihood. Why are you punishing them? All of a sudden, every Russian on this planet is evil? You won't punish the politicians, no? And then the oligarchy. Mm. Oligarchy. Elon is a visionary. A Russian guy who created anything is evil. The American billionaires, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, they hardly pay taxes. They never pay taxes. But they are visionaries and heroes but Russians will take all their money for free no need to ask them just take take their money close their properties good we are doing 
we we don't believe in dictatorship this is democracy that's why we just took your property we took your money took your yacht because your country is even what just imagine if you have property and you are running your business in a legit manner your country goes at war and someone just takes all your property away because your country is at war make sense what nonsense is this oh the evil regime evil regime oh, <laughs> oh fuck there's a snake Ooh, see this snake it's a big fuck ass snake Ooh, fuck it's a big ass snake i don't want to pull it out so fuck it's a big ass snake Ooh, my goodness that's a big snake Ooh. talking of the west comes at the right time west see who is who is uh, controlling the narrative the west covid who is controlling the narrative them so now russia is evil who says they say hmm. and they believe in freedom of speech that's why russian media outlets are censored yeah, because we believe in freedom of speech oh that is misinformation oh that is misin we are giving right information hmm. facebook uh, decided to shut down rt on their website so russia said fuck you Uh, then facebook is releasing a statement you are uh, stopping what reliable news information facebook and reliable yeah yeah sure facebook gives reliable information you know sometimes i wonder what is the point of being a nice guy what is the point of being honest this is all fucking nonsense man all nonsense all drama everyone's faking it everyone's who they are not everyone's a liar like biden's son you and i know we you and i know what is his track record yes that's my kid <laughs> see how loud my kid is <sighs> i really wonder what is the point of being honest uh, then you have uh, india let's not forget india okay on one hand they are sending uh, you know flights to pick up indians but now it's become clear the they are not actually sending the aircrafts in war torn regions rather in safe regions so the indians have to cross the areas where they are being bombed and the snipers are all by themselves that they have to do themselves once they are in a safe zone then india will pick you up and then you have those embarrassing videos uh yeah, what india ki jay Uh, what bharat mata ki jay bharat means uh, india motherland jay means a and then that guy try to insert say modi modi ji means sir modi jay but nobody said Bleh. so when they say about india yay modi uh, so there is not much noise <laughs> oh and every time they bring a plane full of students is a bjp guy you know we have done it uh, bjp and modi ji and they make it a pr uh, opportunity i guess is politics man uh is a headache <sighs> now covid doesn't exist anymore no more booster shots nobody is interested in fauci nobody is interested no the new variant all the news outlets evil russia evil putin actually i i don't hate putin i think is great leader i still feel what russia is doing what russia needs to do sad that this war has to take place people can see through all this bullshit here india is playing the smart this thing doesn't want to get involved in america's wars it's all bullshit Ah <sighs> anyway that's for today's news updates let me know what do you think put your comments down below when do you think this war is going to stop i say at least 2 3 years 2 3 years this drama will has to continue and then maybe something new they have to keep the fear no they have to ensure that people are still afraid and all the drama takes place 
Anyway, you guys take care. Chal.